We must find the volume of this figure and round to the nearest hundredth. Okay. So there's a greenhouse. Did you guys see all the numbers on your paper? Did they show up all right? So we got 8, 12, and 25. And we have two shapes. We have a rectangular prism, and then we have a half circle of a cylinder. A half cylinder. Let's look first at the volume of the prism, the rectangular prism. Well, that's pretty easy. We just take length times width times the height. And we can go in and place the length with the length, which we can say is 12. And the width, which we could say is 25. And the height, we could say is 8. Not that it really matters which is which, because it's all going to be the same after we multiply them. And the volume of the prism, well, that's not the answer. That's just the volume of the prism, 2,400 foot cube. Next, we got to look at this half cylinder right here. Okay, so it's good to split this up and draw better than I do. So, we now need to look at the volume of the half cylinder. Well, the volume of a cylinder would be pi r squared times the height. This one's kind of laying on its side right here. So when we look at the height, it would be 25. And the radius of this is just, well, they gave us the diameter right here. So the radius would be 6. But this is half a cylinder, so we're going to need to divide all this garbage by 2. So the volume of the cylinder, and there we go. That is the volume of the half cylinder. So the volume of the entire thing is just meaning that we need to add both of these numbers. And now we can add these. Not that you guys would do this. You'd probably use a calculator. And that's okay. We get 3,813.72 cubed. That is the answer right here.